What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while but finally I've got a nice video for you all. A two-in-one video as you will. I wanted to make a sort of a transition video where I give my final thoughts on the Rock Bounce budget build and introduce to you a new member on the channel. So let us jump right in. The problem I keep having with the build is that the CVDs keep snapping. And I think it's just uh, too heavy, too powerful and too Chinese to take all the power. The big wheels don't help either. For a crawler it would be just fine. And I know I'm asking a lot from the axles on 3S with this weight. But still it's a bit of a letdown. But that's about it. The drive shafts are holding up real nice. Which I did not expect. And the transmission is just fine, it works really well actually. And also I did not like the shocks, the original shocks I had with that and lots of troubles. And so I went to my local hobby store for some better shocks. The rest is all AliExpress and not shabby at all, is my experience. Would I recommend the build? No. The complete picture you see here is just over 500 euros. So after speaking to Captain Hindsight about all this, we came to the conclusion that it would, be, it would be better to start off with a decent brand builder's kit. So you've got the trusty proven set of axles and a drivetrain and go from there with some budget parts with the rest of your budget. You need a good foundation is my experience in all this. So after that adventure, I thought to myself, okay, now I'm really curious to see what a premium brand has to offer. I wanted something that it could really take a beating. So after watching some basher videos and doing some orientating, other than being able to take a beating, I wanted something easy to maintain. It had to be from a local hobby store, not from China this time, and spare parts needed to be easily to come by. So I decided to get myself an Arma Senton 3S BLX V3, the latest version, and here she is. Already been testing and doing some tinkering on it. Put some stiffer springs in the back. And these are uh, some different wheels and tires. Uh, the video you're about to see are with the original tires. But I'm hooked, I gotta say I'm hooked, it's awesome. I love the way it handles, how the suspension soaks up the bumps, how you can jump it over and over and it loves it, how easy it is to work on, how durable it is, and how fast. Man, this thing goes. I recorded one of my first runs with this, so I'm going to leave you with some footage of that. And I also wanted to thank everybody who subscribed to me over the last 12 months or so. It's really awesome to see people take interest, so thank you guys, you're awesome. I have a few more ideas for videos with this thing, so be sure to su subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Oh, nice. Oh.
yes, yes. Oh man, it handles real good. Yeah, nice wheelie. Yeah, 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 nice, nice, nice. This is so much fun, guys. <laughs> oh, what's the damage? What do I see there? I ripped a piece of my body off. Oh, nice, okay. That's for later. How are you doing for the rest? Holding up real nice. Okay, let's head over to a new location.
something, sometimes something gets stuck in the steering. And now it's gone. Ah, battery's dead. 